Namaste. I am JVM Dr. Pranka Braga from Faculty of Physiotherapy and Diagnostics. Now, today I am teaching you a topic which is a positive health. And in this video, I am teaching you a different different topic like positive health, concept of well-being, and spectrum of health. So let's start. First topic is positive health. Health is a broad sense of world, does not merely mean the absence of disease or provision of diagnostic, curative, and preventive services. It has also included the embolized in the WHO definitions uh, state of physical, mental, and social well being, the harmonious balance of these, the state of the human individuals integrated in, into his environment constitutes health as defined by the WHO. The state of positive health impairs the notion of perfect functioning of body and mind. It conceptualized health biologically as a state in which every cell, every organ is functioning at the optimum capacity and in the perfect harmony with the rest of the body. Psychologically, as a state in which the individuals feel a sense of perfect well-being and of mastery over his environment and socially as a state in which the individual's capacity for participation in the social system are optimal these ideas were widely vent ventilated some years ago but now appear slightly ridiculous. Du Bois says the concept of perfect positive health cannot become a reality because man will never be so perfectly adapted to his environment that his life will not involve struggle, failure, and suffering. Positive health will always remain a my a marriage because everything in our life is subject to change. Life is health is health in this context has been described as the potentially the ability of an individual or a social group to modify itself or itself continuously changing conditions of life. In working for the positive health, the director and the community health expert are in the same position as the gardener or farmer faced with the insects, molds, and bees. The work is never done. Now, a broader concept of the health has been emerging that of improving the quality of life, of which health is an essential component. This, this at once brings to focus that positive health depends not only on the medical action, but on all the other economic, cultural, and social factors operating in the community. Now, Second topic is concept of well-being. So, the WHO definitions of health introduce the concept of well-being. The question then arises, what is meant by well-being? In point of fact, there is no, satisfact um, no satisfactory definition of the term well-being. Psychologists have pointed out that the well-being of an individual or group of individuals have objective and subjective components. The objective components relate to such concerns as are generally known by the by the term standard of living or level of living. The subjective components of well-being as expressed by each individual is referred to as quality of life. Let us consider these concepts separately. First is 
standard of living the term standard of living refers to the usable scale of our expenditure the goods we consume and the services we enjoy it includes the level of education employment status food dress houses amusements and comfort of modern living a similar definition con corresponding to the above was proposed by who which is income and occupation standards of housing sanitation and nutrition the level of provision of health educational recreational and other services may also be used individually as a measure of socio economical status and collectively as an index of the standard of living there are vast inequalities in the standard of living of the person or people in different countries of the world the extent of these differences are usually measured through the comparison of per capita gnp on which the standard of living primarily depends next topic is level of living the parallel term for the standard of living used in united nations document is level of living it consists of nine components health food consumption education occupation and working condition housing social security clothing recreation and leisure the human and the human rights these objective characteristics are believed to influence human well being it is considered that health is the most important component of the level of living because it is important for impairment or means means impairment of the level of the living now third point is quality of life much has been said and written on the quality of life in recent years it is the subjective component of well being and quality of life was defined by who as the condition of life resulting from the combination of effect of a complete range of factors such as those determining health happiness including comfort in the physical environment and satisfaction satisfying occupation education social and intellectual attainment freedom of action justice and which freedom of expression a recent definition of the quality of life is as follows a composite measure of the physical mental social well being as a prescribed by the each individual or by group of individual that is say happiness satisfaction and gratification as it is experience in such life concerned as a health marriage family work financial status educational opportunities self esteem creativity belongingness and trust in others thus a distinction is drawn between the concept of level of living consist consisting of objective criteria and of the quality of life compared comprising the individual's own subjective evaluation of the the quality of life can be evaluated by the assessing a person's subjective feeling of happiness or unhappiness about the various life concern so this this is the uh, concept of well-being now uh, we are moving on a different topic which is the spectrum of health health and disease lie along a continuum and there is no single cut off point the lowest point of the health uh, on the lowest point on the health disease uh, health disease spectrum is death and the highest point correspond to the like to the positive health double to defining of the health uh, it is the obvious what health 
fluctuates within a range of the optimal well-being to various levels of the dysfunction, including the state of total dysfunction, namely the death. Uh, the, the transition from the optimal health to ill health is often graceful and where one state as and the other being in a matter of judgment. So the speech, the spectral concept of the health emphasizes that the health of, of an individual is not static. It is a dynamic phenomena and a process for the continuous changes and subject to frequent suitable variation. And what is contribution maximum health today may be minimum tomorrow. That is, a person may function at maximum level of the health today and diminish level of the health tomorrow. It impels that health is a state not be can once and for all, but ever to be renewed. There are the degree or the level of the health as there are degrees or severity of illness. As long as we are alive and there is also degree of health within us. So this is the health, this is the spectrum of health. Uh, then uh, in this structure or in, the, in this picture, you can see the spectrum of health, which have a highest point and lowest point. Highest point is the positive health and lowest point of is death. So firstly, positive health, then um, gradually um, we reach at the better health and freedom from the sickness and the unrecognized sickness. Now we're moving on mild sickness and now, now we're moving on severe sickness and lastly on the death. So this is the spectrum of health. Now, thank you. Uh, if you have any concern and any queries related to this video, uh, you can ask me in the comment box. And this video is powered by digital version of 2.0 and push it with you.